from creating a complete backup of your phone to installing custom ROMs, recovery is must needed thing in Android modding. Stock recoveries which comes pre-installed in phones are not that good in terms of features. So there are these custom recoveries for that. There are many custom recoveries out there but most of the people prefer TWRP. In this video, I am going to show you how to install TWRP in almost any Android devices. So without further ado, I am Alpes with Tech Talk. Let's get started. Before we start anything, just make sure your phone's bootloader is unlocked. If you need any help with this, then just let me know in the comment section below. Let's go over the few things that we are going to need in this tutorial. First, ADB and Fastboot tools. I will show you how to install them properly with easy and fast 15 second installer. Second, device drivers. You can download them from your phone's manufacturer's website. Third, TWRP image file. If your phone is supported by this project, then you can download TWRP image from TWRP's official website. I will provide a link in description below. Fourth, Odin. If you are using Samsung devices, then you will have to download Odin tool. And last thing, USB data cable. And I will provide link to download all the required files in description below. I am going to show you three different method to install TWRP. First with fastboot mode, second with Odin, third with TWRP's official application. So let's start with installing ADB and fastboot tools. Download ADB setup from the link I provided below and run that installer with administrator permission. There are these three options in the installer. Just go with the Y key to yes and N key to no. To connect your phone with ADB interface, you will have to turn USB debugging on. For that, go to settings, then go to about phone, then tap on build number until you see you have enabled development settings. Go back and go to developer options. In the debugging section, tap on Android debugging to turn it on. Let's go over the main thing now. Connect your phone with computer using a USB cable. Download TWRP image for your phone from TWRP's official website twrp.me slash devices. Move that file to the desktop for easy access. Now open command prompt and type adb space devices and hit enter. You will see allow USB debugging dialog box on phone. Tap OK to continue. You will get your device with serial number there if it's connected. Now reboot your phone into bootloader mode with command adb space reboot space bootloader and hit enter. Once you are rebooted in a bootloader mode, check whether your phone is connected with fastboot or not. Type this command fastboot space devices and hit enter. You will get your device with serial number if it's connected with fastboot mode. Now flash TWRP image by typing this command fastboot flash recovery and now you will have to drag the TWRP image file and drop it into command window and hit enter. Once it finished, it's done. Now you can reboot your phone with this command fastboot space reboot or you can just use phone's bootloader mode. If you are using Samsung devices, then this method is for you. Before you start anything, just make sure your phone's bootloader is unlocked. Reboot your phone in download mode with holding volume down, home and power key at the same time. Then press volume up to continue. Now connect your phone to computer with a USB cable. Make sure you have installed required device drivers for your phone from Samsung's website. I will provide a link in description below. Now download the Odin tool and extract the zip to desktop for easy access. You have to download TWRP image for your phone. For that, you can check TWRP's official website twrp.me slash devices. Now run the Odin tool with administrator permission. 
If your phone is connected with computer properly, then you will see the ID along with COM port in this box. Now click on this AP box and select the TWRP image file and click on the start. If you see reset here in this box, then you have successfully installed TWRP on your Samsung device. There is one more method to install TWRP with official TWRP application. But downside is that, that your device have to be rooted for this method to work and mostly people install TWRP to root their phones. If you already have the image file, then just transfer it to your phone. Once you completed that, install TWRP's official application from Play Store. Open TWRP app, choose your Google account then check I agree, run with root permission and enable network statistic and then tap on OK. Tap on TWRP flash, then allow the root permission. Then tap on select a file to flash. Now select the TWRP image file from the list and then tap select and then tap on flash to recovery. And it's done. So there was this three method to install TWRP. I hope this video was useful to you. If you have any issues regarding this, write down in comment section below.